Hello and welcome, my horny, horny hippos. How you doing today? It's Marceline time! We're gonna be showing you guys how to unlock Marceline today. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a doozy, to be completely honest, because uh, there's four whopping maps that we have to beat on. Not just bronze, not just silver, but all the way up to gold. So she is actually one of the hardest characters in the game to unlock. So, uh, what I want to try and do is just show you guys some, like, basic strategies on what you can kind of do to hopefully take some of these, uh, uh maps down. Uh, though I do have to say that the last map is probably, surprisingly, not the most difficult one, though I can't really decide which one is the most difficult. Probably the first one or the third one, but we'll get to that. Now, I do have to say that I'm speeding this game up four times. This entire process took me over 50 minutes of gameplay right here. So we're speeding it up like crazy, hopefully you guys don't mind. I feel like uh, just getting kind of the basic uh, idea of where towers go and how to upgrade them and kind of how to do everything is probably good enough. And the main thing I gotta say is I'm actually gonna be using my Super Monkey for most of my poppin' power. Uh, of course, I like Max, but uh, as soon as you can get uh, uh, your Super Monkey up to uh, range, extra range, and then a heroic aura to make everybody else in your range cheaper. And when you get cheaper towers all around the board, um, it makes things kind of awesome, actually. So, uh, basically what I did was I got a super fast super monkey over here, and I'm starting to upgrade everybody else up to whatever I can. Um, as far as positioning goes, just put them pretty much anywhere, to be honest. Uh, you know, Finn and Jake, put them next to each other, make sure you've got them on the bro fist. Explode that fist right there. And then uh, with Bemo, um, it's nice to make some extra monies. That, that's kind of what we got going on here. Um, depends on what your trinkets are and what you got going on and everything, but honestly, if you've got a decent chunk of characters over here, extre uh, extreme shouldn't be a big deal. Really, the impoppable is what you have to worry about. Uh, 75 rounds, including having to pop DDTs and everything, that's when it can be a gigantic pain. So we got our last few rounds to go right here. Um, last few VFPs right here, and then the last singles oh my god. And believe it or not, the last singles oh my god for me actually isn't that bad, because I just use all of my abilities that I built up throughout the game. So we get a bunch of, uh, sort of random stuff over there. Some anchors and stuff, which is kind of nice. We finally got our last common card, though. The Sandwich. I didn't even see the name of it, but The Sandwich, man. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is my, my last or second to last common card that I need to unlock in the entire game, or common trinket. That I need to unlock in the entire game. So because I have Finn up to the Banana Replicator, that's one of his best trinkets in the freaking game, um, basically I'm making extra extra cash flow here in the early part of the game. So if you're wondering, well, how the heck do you afford BMO so fast? How the heck are you getting Jake down here and getting your bro fist up so gosh darn quickly by around like 11 or 12? That's extremely freaking quick over here, Chris! Indeed. Indubitably, my friends. It is. So I gotta say that I'm, I'm probably not gonna make too many more uh, Balloons Adventure Time videos. I was thinking about making a few more, um, a few more just unlocking all the characters videos. I've got almost everybody unlocked right now, and then I'm probably gonna check out the last three, uh, uh, or is it two heroes that you can buy? Dungeon Finn and what the heck is the other one? <laughs> I forget what it is already. Cause I, did, I honestly, when I first started looking at them, I was just like, there's no way I'm gonna buy these things. They're like ten. Dollars. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, okay, it's not just about me. I'm being too selfish here, guys. It's 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 for you guys. I want to show it for you guys. And for some of you guys, you don't mind throwing an extra five or ten bucks for a game because uh, when you really get down and think about it, the game starts off free. So if you pay five dollars just to get something in the in the game here, even though it's technically free, then it's like buying the game. It's like buying Blue Star Defense 6. It's like, boom, there you go. You get no ads, you get uh, some extra bonus stuff up in here, helps you kind of start off your game pretty quickly. So I don't mind just throwing like five bucks at a game that I know I'm going to play for hours upon hours upon hours over here. Uh, but beyond that, uh, sometimes I think about games in terms of like console games, and I know that they're not the same. Oh, oh gosh, I know that uh, console games are, are more work, uh, bigger, um, you know, groups of people going at them and everything. So, uh, I get that, that you shouldn't be paying $60 for a mobile game. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but I don't mind throwing in like 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 bucks on a game that I really, really enjoy over here. 
So this is probably the easiest level of them all. Uh, basically, you get a ton of room to work with. Uh, you get a ton of um, amazing towers here. You got basically spots where you, where towers can hit three times. So big loop de loops makes it easy for us. In the last round here, chop chop chop, and it's dead. Level complete. Bebo doing that sexy dance right there. And uh, now we're moving on to level three. Though this is this is a little bit of different, a little bit, a little bit of a difficult one. Now Razor Bats was my first thing. I was like, oh heck yeah, dude! But I decided to go for the revenge stick anyways. So this is the level that I would say is probably the most difficult. I first just kind of tested it out to see if you could shoot through the rocks or put your towers on top of the rocks or anything. Sadly, you cannot. The rocks are not buildable. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad. I, I feel like it's one of the... Have you guys ever seen those pictures of the people who just balance rocks in really weird and goofy ways? Uh, I feel like that's what happened right here. Like, these, these can't be natural. They have to be man-made or monster-made or something made over here to make sure that these things are doing something um, and, and balancing in this weird and sort of goofy way. So again, what I'm doing is I'm actually getting Finn upgraded pretty reasonably high here. And the reason why I'm doing that is again because Finn makes me extra cash. So I don't mind building a bunch of low-level guys just kind of to get them on the screen. But... Uh, if Even if I have extra money over here, it's actually not good to spend money on other random towers until I start losing a decent amount of lives. But because I have the row face and everything, like, I don't care if I lose a couple here and there. Like, even if I'm losing a couple dollars for them going through, uh, I'm still earning BMO cash, I'm still earning double cash for Finn, like, it just, it just really adds up. So then, I just, you guys, did you guys even, like, blink right there, dude? It's like, whoa, where'd you get all these freaking towers from, Chris? I know, I will, ooh, we get the awkward achievement. Uh, because uh, we've got the Flame Princess and Princess Bubblegum on the screen at the same time. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. They are far away from each other, though. Maybe I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I've got uh, Princess Bubblegum. Oh, crap! This is what I did, guys. I screwed it up. Really hardcore. I felt a little bad about this. I had, like, $5,000, and I, I was just excited to have everybody on the screen, and I totally forgot to upgrade Max to get my lead popping power over here. I can either go for the Super Monkey for my lead popping power, or for Max for my lead pop power. And I forgot to go for either of them. So uh, I was an idiot. I did end up losing. Please forgive me. At this point in the game, though, realistically, it continues to just don't matter at all. It's like a thousand coins. Like, you don't even know what you're supposed to do with all the coins that you get in the game. I honestly just continue whenever I want to. I've never been like, oh, I ran out of coins again, dude. You don't do anything with coins except for just continue the game. So just, just do it. Just spend the money. It doesn't matter. But yes, you can think I'm a noob if you want to. That's completely acceptable. So we're moving up past round 50 already. This is where it can get a little bit tricky because we do have zombie balloons coming out. And with all these zombie balloons, if they kind of jump out of the uh, graves all at once on top of BFE or something, they can be a bit of a pain for us. But I do have to say that I actually really enjoy, surprisingly, I enjoy my super monkey positioning. So, I basically get everybody in the back right here. Uh, I've got the Super Monkey Aura to make everybody get everything cheaper. Uh, uh, Jake is actually, you know, music boxing everybody to make him just a little bit more powerful. And then, Princess Bubblegum also superpowers everybody else as well. I think like an extra 20%, just having her as a level 0, um, no upgraded uh, character at all, uh, makes everybody have like 20% more range, which is just absolutely insane if you really think about it. Like, uh, spending $600 to give everybody a lot of range like that's that's like multiple trinkets worth so this is probably the weirdest of them all this level is the level to unlock Marceline. now obviously you need all four of them up to extreme but this level uh you know, I, I would say it's the most difficult but also it's it's actually it's sort of weird because you might think that you have to you know, build towers somewhere near the middle of the map somewhere, um, you know, near the, the Dragon Skull or whatever. But, or the Worm Skull, or the Unicorn Skull, what is that? Is that Lady Rainicorn dead over there? That's kind of sad. It kind of looks like it. It looks like a desert. You know what? I, I, gotta, I gotta warn you guys. Still only on Season 3 right now. So, uh, I don't know. I don't remember... I don't remember ever, them ever fighting a sandworm, so I'm assuming that they did, though. I'm assuming that they went to the desert at some point and they fought a giant sandworm, right? Kind of like the uh, worms in Zelda. Oh, yeah, dude, those things were a freaking joke. Oh, man. 
scary sandworms over here. It's always, it sucks because you don't know where they're at. You know, they, they dig under the ground. You just don't know when they're going to pop out and kill you. So anyways, I do the exact same thing that I normally do. I basically just say, I'm going to tank some of the lives here while I get BMO and Jake just making me delicious amounts of money over here. With all my extra cash, I can start throwing stuff down on the ground here. And uh, now it doesn't even matter if Finn ends up getting um, some of the pops or not. As long, I mean, we're definitely making money throughout the process here. And again, the only tower that I'm actually going to put in sort of a, a weirder spot or not uh, right next to Finn and Jake is our Super Monkey Buddy. He is going to end up uh, a little bit further to the right over here. As long as he's in range with his super aura and everything, he's going to be fine. But you notice, even around 42 here, man, that mob actually gets pretty reasonably far. A scary amount of far. So I definitely have to upgrade Finn and uh, Max up to Moab popping power right now. And I do that very quickly for around 45. And that means we do take them all down. So, uh, believe it or not, we're actually getting to the end over here. We're about to unlock Marceline. Only 10 rounds to go. It's exciting! Yeah! So, uh... Marceline, I have not actually used her yet in a real game at all. This is like my real unlocking, so I'm sort of excited to test her out. I heard that she flies around the screen, so I'm kind of excited to see if that's actually going to happen over here, dude. Make her like some sort of weird heli pilot type hero or something. Um, I, I am. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. But again, just kind of put everybody sort of near the front over here. Don't try and organize them in really weird and goofy ways throughout the entire screen. Just put them in the front. It's the best way to do it. Grouping your guys is probably the best way to kill them all. So, um, they're basically having a conversation. Marceline's like, I'm, I'm the vampire freaking queen. We unlock her. And we go up a level and we get even more Adventure Time rewards. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to as well. I, I do, I do like that as, as well. And, uh, of course, have a super duper delicious day.